Well, it's a piece of history floating in the Inner Harbor. <laughs> and as part of our Fleet Week celebrations, Marty Bass went aboard and got a special look inside the USS Torsk. Welcome back aboard the USS Torsk, everyone. Hope you're having a great day again with Chris Rosen of Historic Ships Baltimore. We're in the maneuvering room of a World War II submarine. Yes. The control room would have issued orders. It would have been executed from in here. From in here. So basically orders would have come from the control room. The ship's telegraph is right here. Orders would have come here. We've got the actual engine controls right here to change the speed and direction of the diesel engines. And, uh, and yeah, this is where, I mean, there's... And the beat goes, I mean, there's so much equipment in here mm -hmm. just to, to even have a vague idea of how it all played into the operation. I mean, uh, it's, it, it blows my I even told K2. I said, you're not going to believe how much is stuffed inside. Am I right? Man, it's cram packed. I mean, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's amazing. It's tight. It's yeah. amazing. The other interesting thing about this space is you're not only controlling the diesel engines, but when the ship is underwater, you're controlling the elect all the batteries and the and the electric engines that are actually propelling the ship when we're underwater. Because when you're under, you, as we said last half hour, underwater, you can't have an internal combustion engine because it needs fresh air. Right. Wow. Fleet Week is upon us, and there's a lot of people going to be downtown and visiting. I think a lot of Baltimoreans, may, you, you can't see the forest for the trees sometimes. Mm -hmm. You drive by something so much, it goes in one eye and out another, in one ear out another. I think that may be the case. Yep, well, we're, you know, the Historic Ships in Baltimore collection is open for everyone to visit, historicships.org, to get information. Um, we, uh, we're so happy that the Navy is going to be here. We're excited to have thousands of people down the Inner Harbor again, once again, post-pandemic. Um, the Baltimore is ready to receive visitors. How much did it cost to come on the tours? It's twenty dollars to visit the whole collection. So you get to visit Constellation, the Coast Guard Cutter, the Lightship Chesapeake, and the Submarine Torsk. And I mean, this this is the showstopper right here. <laughs> I get the Constellation Revolutionary War, but when when you realize what went on in, yeah. I was getting ready to say this room, this mm -hmm. building. In, in this submarine, mm -hmm. young men went to war. Mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy. Yep. Hey, listen, thank you so much for hosting oh, us. You're very, very welcome. Uh, we, 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 we've, fun. we've done the best we could to kind of give you an idea of what what is inside of what you drive by all the time. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of brass in here. <laughs> yes, and we've got a great group of volunteers that help us keep it polished. And may I just add, turning a phrase, took a lot of brass to serve on one of these. Believe me when I tell you. Let's go ahead and throw it All right. back at TV. Cheers. Wow. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs>